Hello, hello, hello. Danny Shea. Bathrobe Tarot. And today we're going to look at Jared Kushner. Because I just get the sense that this is going to end really badly for him. Um, you know, I, I hear in the news that, um, you know, he is this slummy lord and blah, 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 blah. And he's, I mean, he, I mean, I, I don't know. I, he's so, he's so, I, I, Anyway, I don't know. So I decided to pull some cards on him. Why did he even take this job in the first place? So here's what I got. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Okay, he had been beaten down. Maybe his businesses were really failing. Um, and he goes, what the hell, Donnie? Or Daddy? I'll do it. So he takes this job. And he's got a lot of passion and... And it's new energy coming in there, you know, and he's feeling the passion of um, uh, Trump being president and stuff like that. But it's kind of misguided. And then here he has the four of wands and it's like this celebration on the beach. And it's all like, woohoo, this is great. This is great as he stands hidden in his corner right in his little office next to the president and so today we have the fool card it's upside down so he doesn't know what he's doing he's in way over his head he's starting these new things about the pandemic but he's just over his head with this thing um he doesn't get it so fool energy is new start not looking where you're going kind of jumping off um, into the unknown, not listening to the dog. Or it could be, you know what, I don't need, I just, I'm going to be okay, I'm just going to go, which is, to me, the fool. Don't worry, I'm, I'm just taking a leap of faith, I'm going, but it's upside down. He should be listening, he should be watching where he's going. And Nine of Swords, he's not digging it. Things are coming at him. Okay, so he is hanging on. He is hanging on. And again, what's going on for his swords? He's tired. He's, um, this could maybe even be sick. Uh, Something in this card back here, he's got something going on that he's not letting us know. And he's not listening to who he should be listening to. So, what happens when all this stuff is over and he's done um, if, if Trump is not president anymore? Well, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to be spinning. Things are going to be spinning fast for him. Okay, so it's just, you know, it's, it's a karmic card, right? He's got the Eight of Swords, so it's feeling extremely restrictive. <laughs> Does that mean jail? No, I don't think so, because he's got the Ten of Cups. Um, he's going to work it out with somebody, so um, is he going to be... Making a deal? It's the wish card. No, it's the um, the smug merchant card. No, it's the fulfillment card. I'm sorry, that was the nine of cups. The smug merchant uh, wishes fulfilled. Ten of cups. Okay, tens are completion. So he's done with his work. He's... Um, celebrating thinks it's all good and stuff let's pull some clarifiers on that what does that ten of cups mean for mr kushner is he skating free i mean he's got a lot of these worry cards here 
Eight, nine, ten of swords, four of swords. Fool. Wheel of Fortune. So what is this Ten of Cups? What is this Ten of Cups about? Clarify the Ten of Cups for me, please. Clarify the Ten of Cups for me, please. All righty. Well, uh, he's got the Hermit card here. He's got the Six of Pentacles giving and receiving, but it's upside down. And then he's got the Queen of Swords, which is um, my Pelosi card. So I think she's going to come back and give him some harsh, harsh truth that's not going to be beneficial for this card. Um you know, he thinks he's being balanced and fair, but really he's just taking with this card. And he's extremely alone. So I'm getting the sense that he feels he's going to be okay, but in reality, I don't think he is. 